So today we're doing the antiderivative of arc sine. We're going to try a method called biparts. Bipart goes like this. You've got to split this up into two couple pieces. One of them should be called a U and the other one should be called a DV. Sometimes it's a lot more interesting because you may have more than two pieces. But let's try our luck here and see how it goes. We force U to be equal to arc sine of X. That leaves us with no choice. DV has to be DX. This uh, forces V to be equal to X. And here I've got to take the derivative of this piece. So I could say, well, this is the same thing as saying that sine of U is equal to X. And that, of course, is the same thing as saying that the derivative of sine of U is equal to the derivative of X. This is called slapping D on both sides. Um, just slap the D on both sides. This becomes cosine of u, differential of u is equal to dx. And of course from here we get the little dictionary part where if the angle was u on the right triangle, reference triangle, the ratio would be x to 1. That would be this ratio, the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse. Op from the u angle, opposite is a x, hypotenuse is 1. That forces this one to be 1 minus x squared by using Pythagorean theorem. From here I gather that cosine u, cosine u would be this ratio, so cosine u would be equal to square root of 1 minus x squared times du is equal to dx. Right? Or said differently, uh, the dx is equal to uh, du is equal to dx all over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Alright, that tells me what the du is and that tells me what the dv is. Together, these two things go like this. Uh, we say that the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. That's the bipart formula. Um, we proved that on a different video. This means that this integral, uh, substituting back everything in here, the integral of arc sine of x uh, dx is equal to u times v. My u is here and my v is here, u times v, that's u times v, x arc sine of x minus integral of v, that's my v here, times du. du is over here, so it will be dx all over square root of 1 minus x square. So the arc sine of x dx is equal to this guy right here. Uh, this is already done, this one's not that bad. Here we'll do a little u sub maybe uh, we could go with a little well, we'll go with a little red uh, we'll make u equal 1 minus x squared that forces du to be negative 2x dx so then this becomes just this piece alone becomes uh, the integral of x dx that's this part x dx it'll be solving here it'd be negative 1 half du and then on the bottom I'd have square root of 1 minus x squared, so it would be the square root of u. So that would be negative 1 half integral of u to the negative 1 half du, which would be negative 1 half. Now I would add 1 to the exponent, that would force it to be 1 half. Divide by the new exponent, which would be 1 half. Altogether I'd have negative u to the 1 half. Or said differently, I would have uh, negative u, which is this one, to the one half, which would be the square root of 1 minus x squared. So put all that together and we get that the integral is the integral of arc sine of x dx is equal to x arc sine of x minus this whole thing, which is that. So it's plus the square root or of 1 minus x squared plus a constant that, my friends, is one way to do the uh, antiderivative of arc sine. That was fun, right? See you guys next time.